I don't recall having like formal conversations about money, but I definitely saw my parents work hard and I think that that was instilled in me. As soon as I was old enough to have a job, I had a job. My name is Laura O'Neill and I'm the co-founder of Van and Ice Cream. We started Van Leeuwen with about $60,000 and that trickled in with um, small investments from family and friends. My past experience was in event production, so I sort of treated starting Van Leeuwen like any of the projects that I'd worked on before, except that it was gonna be like a forever project. We started making ice cream at home, the three of us, myself and Ben and Pete Van Leeuwen. The three of us just kind of picked up whatever jobs we could to sort of pay the rent and the bills while we were getting started. We've definitely considered taking outside funding, but what we often find is that by the time we kind of get to the point of someone writing the checks, that we've done a lot of what we set out to do without the investment. To be 10 years in and still own about 85% of our company, it doesn't really make sense to start selling off chunks of equity when we've come so far on our own. Venture capitalists, I mean, they're usually pleasantly surprised by how young we are. Maybe they're surprised that I'm female and that I'm Australian. I guess it's kind of sexist if they're surprised at all that there's like a woman behind the business. So we want to make sure that if and when we ever do take outside investments, that it's like a great partnership and it's with people that we love and who are definitely on the same page as us. You know, we've grown the business to a certain point. I want for us to start focusing on how do we make sure that we get like a great life out of all the work that we've put in and make sure that we're setting ourselves up as well. You know, over the last 10 years, there's been many ups and downs and everything can feel catastrophic at times, but you always get through it. We're always improving. We started with one truck in 2008. We now have six trucks, four of them here in New York City, two out in LA, three stores in Los Angeles, seven here in New York City. It's gonna be a really big year for us. I didn't go to college and I've been able to build this. I think when you're young, you doubt yourself in many ways. And so I would just tell like 25 year old Laura, you're smart and you're doing a great job and believe in yourself. I'm Laura O'Neill and I'm a financial feminist because I'm in control of my own future.